I'll give Darian Fenton an opportunity. Darian, thank you. Darian. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. I appreciate the opportunity to um, round off the debate on clauses one to three, the time and commencement and so on, on the Social Security benefit categories and work fo focus amendment bill. I thought what I'd uh, do is just um, drill down a little bit into those, into those uh, into that title, starting with the benefit categories, and just remind listeners exactly what this bill does. What it's doing is rebadging a range of uh, current uh, benefits that we Causes have. One to yes, three. title, title, Mr. Chair. I'm talking about the title, and I'm certainly talking about the new benefit categories, uh, which is part of the title. So what it does is rebadge a number of of uh, uh, existing categories of uh, benefit categories and squash them into a range um, of three. Uh, squash them up, so you know, take away the, uh, the benefit categories that we've had for many years. Um, and job seekers support, for example, is one that I think uh, is a lot of people have talked about because it's 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 a it's a not only a misnomer but it's also quite an insulting kind of um, category because it's suggesting that job seekers can actually find a job, um, and as does the title indeed when it talks about uh, work focus. But job seeker support for the listeners, just to remind them, uh, will cover people who currently receive unemployment benefit, sickness benefit. DPB woman alone and widow's benefit and DPB sole parents whose children are older than 14 years of old age or do not have children. So all of those people who currently have, uh, have different conditions, different titles for their benefit are going to be squashed into this, this job seeker support, this apparent work fo focus amendment bill, uh, to try to pretend that all of them are going to be able to get jobs, um, that there's many, many jobs out, of there, out there for them to apply apply for, and of course we all know that, uh, that, that what happens is that they don't um, take a job that's offered under, this, uh, under clauses one to three of this bill. The, the benefit could be cancelled in um, a 13 week stand down um, who f could apply to any beneficiary who fails to accept an offer of suitable employment and benefits of children will lose up to 50% of their benefit. Now, how can that be? How can the title of this, be, uh, of this bill be benefit, well, I think benefit categories works okay, but work focus, when actually you're talking, uh, Mr Chair, about sanctions and punishment for people who can't, who can't find jobs. And um, as my colleagues have suggested, there are much better titles for this bill, uh, and particularly around the uh, area of sanctioning and punishing people. And also, I suppose you could call this bill the Social Security Punishing the Children Bill, because what's going to happen if uh, beneficiaries with children lose up to 50 per cent of their income, of their benefit? Who's going to suffer? Who's going to be the uh, people that pay the price for that? The children are going to pay uh, the price for that, and that is extremely concerning. And the minister goes on and on about how she cares about children. Well, I think this is most uncaring, and we should all in this house be deeply concerned about that particular uh, measure. Um, but this is all, all apparently about a focus on work, which is uh, one of the titles of the bill, the work focus uh, is in the title of the bill. Um, and what it means is that it's also extended to those on the sickness benefit. So people who are on the sickness benefit um, will also be considered job seekers. So they may well have, uh, you know, have long-term illness, but they are going to be job seekers too. So we're pretending that people in those categories can also find a job. And then, as we heard last week, of course, now we have a new bill in Parliament that was passed last week for 18 and 19-year-olds on a benefit who turn, if they turn down a job after they've been on the dole for six months, if they turn down a job on a youth rate, they will be punished as well. So this bill is definitely not... Uh, has nothing to do with workforce focus, everything to do with punishment, everything to do with sanctioning, and everything to do with blaming the people who are unable to find the jobs because this government has completely failed in its, uh, in its, uh, in its plan and it had to have any plan in terms of getting a job. So, Mr Chair, I think that the title uh, is fitting when it comes to benefit categories. It's completely ridiculous when it comes to talking about work focus because, as I've said, it does nothing to 
address the issues of work. It does nothing to address the availability of work. It does nothing to address the other barriers such as childcare costs. It does nothing to address whether an individual has the necessary skills. All it does is put people through hoops. The, we'll put the questions. First question is that clause one stay in part. Um, those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Party vote. The clerk will conduct the party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 vote opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Any other votes? The ayes are 61, the noes are 60, clause 1 will stand part. Jacinda Ardern has a typescript amendment to Clause 2. Um, this is out of order as it relies on an indeterminate event and members can refer to Speaker's Ruling 117 Bar 2. So the question now is that Clause 2 stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. Ayes have it. Party vote. The clerk will conduct the party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 vote opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Any other votes? Ayes are 61, noes are 60. Clause 2 will stand part. The question now is that clause 3 stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Aye. Party vote. The clerk will conduct the party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 vote opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Any other votes? The ayes are 61, the noes are 60, clause 3 will stand part. I will report this bill with amendment presently. Now, members, we now move to further consideration of the student loan scheme. Amendment bill number two.